Worms WMD, a 2D turn-based strategy game released for Steam on August 23rd of 2016. It was developed and published by Team 17, the company known for the Worms franchise, The Escapist, and... Wait, these guys are the publishers for Yooka Well, shit. In the past, these games contained a unique combination of referential humor, morbidity, and a nice variety of strategic weapons that made each game feel unique, but always close to home. The main focus is you control your team of worms and use a multitude of weapons to defeat your opponent, planning your moves ahead and using terrain and cover to your advantage. Controls can be simply broken down to movement with the A and D keys, enter to jump forward, double enter for an upward jump, weapon select with the right mouse, left click to select, and firing with the space key. Of course, you could always rebind the keys, so yeah. Graphically speaking, it's got this nice hand-drawn artistic style to it that's really fitting for the franchise, and that destroyable terrain is always a charm, especially when you blow out the fu- The AIs are their usual selves, ranging from mentally handicapped to having aimbots for opponents. Something new in the game is the crafting system. You're able to disassemble other weapons to form new ones, replacing the coins in the game, which is nice, but can really be overpowered at times. There's also now the variants of weapons which add special effects and whatnot. But let's be honest, everyone wants to know how overpowered the vehicles are. Which congratulations, they're not broken. They just suck. How they work is you can use the vehicles on your turn and remain in them to dampen damage, but any worms nearby can simply take over the vehicle and then use it on you. Not to mention if they take too much damage, they are going to explode causing even more damage to your worm. Basically vehicles turn your one soldier into a towering beacon of please kill me. The other thing is mountable guns, all which are very powerful but only good for certain scenarios due to their limited range of fire. By the way, they remove water weapons in this version. Makes sense, right? Actually, no. No, it doesn't. And finally, multiplayer, which is... okay, I, I guess. There isn't a lot of online games due to different operating systems not connecting with each other, which really limits your audience. And for a massive online series like Worms, this is a real crippling blow, but I hear about a fix for this in the future, so I got my eye on you. So let's quickly sum this up. What do I think of Worms WMD? To be honest, I still think it's a good game. I know the game has issues with overpowered weapons, online play that needs work, and just an overall lack of polish, but see the thing is, I still had fun with this. An example is although the weapons are overpowered, all of them are overpowered, so it's an odd form of crazy balance that's just fun to play. Even though the game may not be as good as previous versions of this game, like by a long shot, it still was entertaining to play, and that is ultimately the question. So yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's expensive being $30 when the video was made, but I did play more than 30 hours, so I don't know. It's up to you ultimately whether you buy it or not. All I can do is point out some facts about the game and give an opinion. The rest is up to you. So, good luck, enjoy, and see you later.